My name is Zebulon Pike. On July 15, 1806, my team of explorers and I were sent on an expedition, later known as the Pike Expedition. We were sent to explore along the Red River into the southern part of the Louisiana Territory. In November of 1806, we spotted a peak. This was later known as Pike's Peak, named after me. After we discovered it, we decided to attempt to climb to the summit. After two days of climbing with no food, we turned back. In addition, we were in two feet of snow, and climbing was getting more and more difficult as we got higher up. My team and I had discovered Pike's Peak, with an elevation of 14,115 feet. Along with this 14er, there are several others in a total of six mountain ranges, all ranging from 14,001 feet to 14,433 feet. The ranges are the Sawatch Range, which consists of the highest 14er, Mount Albert, with an elevation of 14,433 feet. The second range is the San Juan Range. The third range is the Sangre de Cristo Range. Fourth is the Ten Mile, or the Mosquito Range. Fifth is the Front Range, which consists of Pikes Peak. And the last range is the Elk Mountain Range. These mountain ranges were discovered by many other expedition teams over time, even after my death. The Sawatch Range was discovered by settlers when they populated this area for gold in 1860. The San Juan Range was discovered in a similar way. It became known that this range was heavily mineralized, meaning it had potential gold and silver to be mined. Settlers and miners moved to this range in search for mining opportunities in 1903. The Sangre de Cristo mountain range was not necessarily found, but named by Spanish explorer Antonio Valverde y Cosillo in 1719. He named this mountain range after the reddish color of the peaks at sunrise. Though I have not heard of a date when the Ten Mile Mosquito Range was found, I have heard of its tremendous beauty. It manages to keep a natural feeling even when unnatural things occur. The front range was not discovered by one single person, much like the other mountain ranges. Individual mountains were usually found by individual people. Like in my case, Pikes Peak. The front range mountains did attract a lot of attention, though, because they contained a lot of fossils from billions of years ago. The Elk Mountain Range was discovered by miners who migrated toward this area in search of coal in the 1900s. To this day, coal is still mined here. The end.